Hello there, people. Uh, this is Out of the Shadows Podcast. I'm your host, Wolf Party. I'm Black Metal Brad. We are walking around uh, Fright Night Camp Out right now. Trying to find the uh, infamous haunted caves before lockdown. So far, no good. Don't know where it is. Don't know what's going on. Uh, nope. We will continue to keep you posted throughout the night. Not much is happening right now. Ate a hot dog. Ate a hamburger. Had some juice. And, uh, to be continued. We found a trail. Uh, we're going to follow it a little bit until we have to go back. Uh, you can see there's wood shit and there's Brad on the trail. So, trail. Wood. You can hear the bluegrass behind us. That's going to serenade us all through the night while we're getting attacked by various monsters and shit. Uh, we're gonna follow this for a little while, see where it goes, and uh, we'll keep you posted throughout the night. What got going here, dude? We've got a juggler. Juggler fire. I'll be, holy oh, shit. Right, There's a juggling juggalo. Goddamn clown. It's the insane clown pyro maniacs. Festivities are about to begin. It's getting dark. There's a lot of people. Bigfoot Brad got harassed at the porta potty. Yeah. We're all waiting for the show to begin. Bigfoot is here. All right, stay tuned. Slip and slide? That's what it looks like. I'm not doing that. Sweet. All I need to do is throw my shoulder out on Fox, so yeah, I'm good. Why did you take this method? Is it my pretty? Ooga! Here she goes! I'm your host.
Ghost Wolf Party. I got a bright ass flashlight. That's Brad. I'm Black Metal Brad. He's got two flashlights on his face. Ah. Uh, we've been doing the games and witnessing the terror. Uh, butthole the clown wipes some shit on me. Hopefully it's not really shit. Uh, you never know. Buttholes and mud clowns. We're still pretty early in the night. Uh, it's going to get progressively worse and worse. Or better and better. Whatever. Depends on how you look at it. Yep. Uh, stay tuned. We're having snack time right now. We're surrounded by assholes and flashlights. And there's a truck full of monsters circling around the campground. Stealing people. And turning their nipples into fucking milk duds. Uh, Roots eating Cool Ranch Doritos. Brad's eating Trail Mix. You're having Cheetos. And there's no point in you turning the camera because it's pitch black. And there's no point in me turning the camera because it's pitch black. Anyway, we'll give you posted. We got like six or seven more hours. Are you taking a picture? Look at the video. Hey. This guy's interesting. Taking a video? Are you me? Yeah. I'm making a podcast well, all night tonight. And you're going to be our special guest. I get to now record <laughs> like files of your skin. Your skin is of an angel. Your skin is utter blissness. And I have mentioned this multiple times. I honestly believe the CIA could harness your skin and figure out how light reflects off of it. I feel like I have stress on me. You should never have told me I was being recorded. Anyways. If the government could figure out how light reflects off of her skin, it can create the most efficient flashbang the world has ever seen. It could blind an entire country. with one follicle of her skin. I asked her if I could have a follicle of her skin, but he, she herself knew what that meant. <laughs> she knew that if I had a follicle of her skin, I would have been given too much power. I would have been able to control the world. Because people would fear me beyond any man. Presidents, emperors, dictators, aristocrats, they would fear me. Because they know that if they did something I wouldn't like, I would say, Have you ever met this person? What's your name? Jamie. Jamie. Have you ever seen her skin? And I would bring out this box. I would bring out this box. It would have like little gold uh, things on it. It'd be pretty, pretty shit. And I would take some diamonds and shape it like the ring that she's on her finger and stud it just everywhere, basically. No particular powder, just fucking stud it. It'd probably destroy the box, but that's besides the point. Inside the box would be, I'm not going to say pleather, because that is like the cheapest shit ever. Why would I stud it with diamonds and put pleather in it? Red cloth. Oh no, because everything... The finest velvets. Huh? The finest velvets. Cashmere. Velvet. There we go. Yeah. Mm, cashmere, ah, bitch. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Mm. The finest velvet cashmere. Because everything that is fancy is stored in something red. Like my heart for you and your skin. Not really you, just your skin. <laughs> like, I love your skin. And I, in this, placed in this red velvet cashmere would be another tinier box. The clear, and I would open it. And I would pull out a follicle. The size of a finger. The fingertip. Or 16. That way. Yonder. Now which one? It's that way, butthole. I'm talking about the most perfect skin in the world. Would you like to sit and... He's walking away. You want to talk about skin with us? No, he doesn't care. Yeah. 
Oh well. He's a bully. Uh, I'm scared of it. Uh, it'd be the size of my fingertip. And I'd simply have to go. Point at them. And after the studies of the skin follicle stuff, sciencey things, because I'd probably hire some German guy, I would simply point at them. Ooh, And it would just be. A light, a ray. It could be a flashbang. Could be a laser. I can't hit that note right now. I understand. It's been a long night. I literally cannot hit that note. I literally cannot hit that note. I don't think it's. I'm gonna legitimately try. Sounds like you're trying to play a nut, clear nut, but that's just doesn't play. It sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of interesting. I can hit, I can hit low notes. I feel like the low notes is the only thing I can hit right now. That sounds like Justin Bieber's new song. Amen. Yeah. Now this is gonna. I'm, I'm gonna do a uh, a solo by Mary Cyrus. I don't know if I'm hurting my vocal cords doing this. Honestly, I'm probably putting so much strain on my vocal cords that I'm not about to snap. How long are you going to record me?